hey what's up guys welcome back you watching for today so it's just not about a week we reviewed the last small incremental update of fish on and red u120 p02 i was just about to release its battery results but today we got another big update of v710 ex01 120 p02 it's very surprising that this update is not just about oneplus apps update and some fixes but it has something different especially about the battery that we are all complaining from the last v700 series oneplus rolling out this update gradually for the global users but still i didn't got any ota under the oneplus updater so you may have to check the oxonos updater application here you will get the full ota for this build if you are already on the v700 then you will get the incremental update over it so today i flashed this build and we are going to discuss everything related to this update along with some hints of battery life and the bugs so now with the further ado let's get started So our installation of new update was done. Let's first check out the about device details of the new update. As I already told in the intro, this is the new Oxonos 14 V17 EX01 P120 build. You will come get the complete change log of the update here that we are going to discuss in this video. This is the same Android 14, but the big thing is that we got the latest security patch of August 2024, while old build was on the July security patches. The version section also updated with the new build number of this update that is V710EX01 U120P02 BRB1EX01 except this kernel version is same as old build. Now we will discuss some fixes done by the OnePlus team in this update. The first fix is for the three finger screenshot gesture. There is a minor improvement has been done here for taking the full screenshot and the partial screenshot using the three finger gestures. Long pressing the three fingers to take the partial screenshot can be useful like circle to search feature. Next developer had solved some swipe down delayed response for the simple mode. Now system is quickly responding the swipe down gestures to access the QS panel in the simple mode. Another fix is done for the accidental activation of auto brightness in some scenarios. Actually I didn't face such issues in the previous build but if you are getting such issues now they got fix. Next fix has been done for the app management. They fixed the uninstall update might not available sometimes for updated applications in app management. So these are some minor fixes has been done by the team, but there are no extra features were added by the developers in this build. But if I am not wrong, I found this new blurred wallpaper feature under the wallpaper and style setting while applying the wallpapers. Wallpaper zoom feature was already available here. If you use the blurred wallpaper feature, your currently applied wallpaper get blurred like you can check on the screen and you can apply it on the home screen on the lock screen. But there is one minor bug I found about this feature that we will discuss under the bugs timeline of this video. Next part I always test in all the update is the performance and stability. As usual current and all other previous builds are running battery smooth on this powerful device. I got the constant 125 Hz input and output screen touch sampling rate on this build. While gaming, you will may get the 600 touch sampling rate. If we compare the Geekbench performance results of this build with the old one, without performance mode in the new build, I got the score of 1 to 53 and 3353. While with the performance mode, results were 1 to 51 and 3461. If you check the old build results, there we got the score of 1 to 05 and 3460, 1 to 05 and 3450, with and without performance mode respectively. Here we observe the single core performance has been slightly improved in the current build as compared to the old one. Next, I did the GP performance test without performance mode, and the results were 4379 and 4568 for the OpenGL and Hulkan graphics respectively. While with the performance mode, we got the score of double four nine five and five three four two. In old build, we got the score of double four one two and four three three two, and double four one two and double four three five with and without performance mode, respectively for the OpenGL and Hulkan graphics. 
So the new build has stabilized the Hulkan API performance which was slightly degraded in the old update. So in single word, the new build has better stability in terms of the scores and real life performance. The next question most of the gamer will ask again and again, does the OnePlus added 90 FPS for the BGMI now in the new update or not? But the sad reality is that though the OnePlus released this device as a gaming device, still we didn't got the 90 or 120 FPS. There is only smooth plus extreme FPS setting is available. There is no extreme plus until now added. So the game will run constantly on the 60 FPS. But in the game dashboard setting, OnePlus made available the Ultra HD graphics setting for the supported gaming application. I don't know if the setting already was there in the game dashboard or not, but I got this first time. For now, it's only supported for the Genshin Impact. BGMI and the PUBG are not supported for now. The game is running very smooth on OnePlus 9RD because while playing the game is activated on the 600 touch sampling rate which is a main feature of OnePlus 9RD. So what are the bugs in this update? I can't understand what's the problem with my Amazon application. I can't able to find it under the app drawer and not even after typing the keywords in a search bar or under the app management list. I can only able to use this application from the Play Store only. I think I am the only one who is facing this issue. Next bug I found for the blurred wallpaper or the zoom out feature. When I used this and tried to apply the wallpaper for the both the home screen and lock screen, it only getting applied for the home screen only. Also even after enabling the wallpaper zoom, I can't able to get any kind of wallpaper zoom after unlocking the device. Except these two bugs, I didn't encounter anything till the date. Finally, OnePlus started to add some efforts to improve the battery life which was worsen after V700 series. In the changelog, they clearly mentioned the new info like optimization of power consumption to extend the battery life for the OnePlus 9RT. But immediately in this video, I can't confirm anything about the battery because I just installed this build one day before. Actually, I was going to release the results of the old V700 series update, but before that we got this new update. But the old build has the same issue of battery life, but as per the current stat in the new build, I can see some improvement in the battery. As you can check here, accu battery showing, my device will last for 16 hours with the 4 hours of SOT. If we get at least this type of result, I can say it will be the big achievement for the Oxonas 14. But still wait for the two days after that I will create the community post for the battery results of this build. So that's it for today guys. This is all about the new Oxon OS 14 v 17. Hope you like on my work then please do like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.